Hi, and thanks for joining us for another recording here at streetsmartoptions.com. Hey, folks, if you're joining us on our uh, Facebook uh, page at our group, uh, we really would appreciate it if you join the free group. Uh, the free group is located at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash street smart options. Obviously, you can find us at that website as well, streetsmartoptions.com. And if you're watching us on YouTube, we really appreciate your viewership, and we'd love to have you as a subscriber. So if you subscribe right now and hit that bell icon, you won't miss any more of these very timely videos that will help you with your stock markets, uh, and your uh, philosophies and uh, training with uh, the stock market. Uh, with that, I'm going to turn it over to my partner, Jonathan Sherman. Jonathan, you're, you're going to talk about box tonight. And I know uh, you, you've highlighted that in our free group on Facebook several times. Uh, you first started talking about it, if I remember correctly, back in May. And then you've updated some things. Uh, can you take us through it? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Jim. Uh, so box is a company that provides content management software. It's a cloud-based software company that sells its products to institutions, to companies, and basically enables them to securely access content in the cloud at any time from anywhere. And so it you know, provides this nice solution and it's a recurring revenue model. They do about 500 million in annual sales. Uh, and the thing that really caught institutional investors' attention was the fact that it's a, a closet artificial intelligence play. They have uh, artificial intelligence software and technology that they can extend into other markets beyond this content management area. And so institutions see this as a potential for the future. Now, the company itself, you know, if you go to their financials on Yahoo, and I do a lot of research on Yahoo, uh, you go to the financials here, and I'll find them in a minute as so I scurry around. There we are, the income statement. You know, you can see they're doing this 500 million in revenue, right? But the thing is, they're not generating any income, right? They're an income losing company. And you find a lot of these software companies are income losing companies. They have this huge SG&A expense. And, but most of them are cash flow positive because what they're doing is they're depreciating software assets. And uh, if you go to the uh, cash flow on this company, take a look at that. This particular company, has total cash flow from operations of 61 million in 2018, right? Uh, and they are net cash flow positive. So there is their other activities, the depreciation and amortization expenses that that uh, eat up their revenues. So the stock continues to go up as revenues go up because they're actually cat, they're actually cash flow positive and growing. And the thing that was interesting was that most institutional players were not interested in this stock that much. It was kind of sideways trending. If we go back to our post on Facebook, it was an IPO in 2015, and then uh, you know traded down and sideways for a period of three years, really. And it finally just started poking its head above the uh, it's, it's IPO price, it's IPO high price 2473 just recently in this May time period. And what caught our attention was, and as you can see in this chart in our, in our Facebook group, the huge volume spike in, uh, in April, in late April, and this is the weekly chart, where the stock started to rise. Then it didn't give up any of that huge volume spike. It, it had this huge volume spike in this area and then uh, the following week, it went even higher. So the story seemed to resonate with institutional investors. And what was it? What was the story? Why all of a sudden was this interest in box, right? Why, why this big volume spike? Well, it coincided with a report that VC investor applauds the AI potential of this company. And it was the company, the guy's name was... I don't know if I pronounced this right, Chamath Palahapitiya, right? But he's the CEO of Social Capital. And, you know, in this presentation he gave at an influential conference, 
uh, it's an annual conference called uh, what's the conference called the Sone Investment Conference in New York. It's an annual conference, and uh, they invite these investors that are regarded highly by institutional investors, the in institutional investment community. And he talked about boxes being quote unquote incredibly cheap and undervalued. And he recommended the stock because of its AI potential, right? So, you know, looking at the earnings was negative earnings, but but had a nice recurring revenue model and it turned cash flow positive, but it was this this AI thing that really caught his attention. And obviously it other people uh, saw that it had potential as well, which is why the stock started to rise. So jump ahead to today, we can take a look at what Box did. So we talked about it here in uh, the end of May, I should say the beginning of May, May 4th. We talked about it over here before it made a new high and suggested that you know it might be a good momentum play. The market was uh, trending higher and, and looked like a good time to start getting involved. And sure enough, uh, this week it popped from 24 to nearly 30, um, the week after we recommended it to uh, to our followers. And you know people could have gotten involved in one of two ways. They could have done a bull call spread on this, maybe taken the, uh, maybe the 20, 20, Two or 2024, I should say, uh, bull call spread, um, maybe two months out, or they could have just taken a deep in the money call option and maybe taken the 20 deep in the money call option and, uh, and made a profit on this momentum play. They would have, you know, gotten maybe 50, 80 percent return in just a week or two on a deep in the money call option there. So, and then it, but since then it's really traded sideways to down. It hasn't done anything else since then. So the profit was just, you know, maybe a two week trade in this thing. And that was it. Now, there may be more potential in this thing going forward right now. As we speak in late June 2018, the market is in a downtrend, uh, a, an intermediate term correction. Where, you know, the overall market's been in the bull market since the um, since the real estate crash, right? So it's been in the bull market since 2009, right? So it's a really long bull market. But right now we're in this little intermediate short term correction. Maybe it'll turn to something I don't know. Nobody knows, right? You have to like play the market as it serves you, right? Take advantage of opportunities as they as uh, the market gives you. So right now this is a consolidating again. This box is consolidating again, consolidating again. And, you know, we suggested that because it's at this 10 week moving average again, this blue line, it might be a good time to get involved again with a bull call spread. Um, and we're not suggesting people do a deep in the money call option right now because the market's kind of choppy to down. But a deep in the money, uh, I should say a, uh, a deep in the money call spread might work well here. So maybe once the 2025 spread is what we talked about in a more recent post in our Facebook group. And if we look back to our Facebook group here and we scroll up and we suggested in this post on June on June 21st that we do a deep in the money call spread a 2025 spread uh, looking two months out this would have been the August 17 so it's we don't know yet whether that's going to work out but it seemed like a good seems like a good bet given the potential in the company and the way institutions have viewed it and it seems to be holding up better than the overall market, which has been uh, under pressure for the last uh, last few weeks. So uh, that's Box in a nutshell. And uh, you know, if you uh, we we have recommendations like this, and we talk about stocks like this in our Facebook group on a regular basis, and come join us, and we'd love to have you and and, and talk with you and share you know what we have to offer. Fantastic, Jonathan. I appreciate that. And, you know, folks, uh, one of the things you might notice from, from how Jonathan does his research is that we're not just looking at the standard, you know, stocks and options that you hear many people talking about. You know, it's not just Caterpillar and, you know, Microsoft and eBay and Amazon and, and stocks along those lines. You know, you know we're, we're, we're out there looking at different opportunities. And Jonathan does a lot of work and research uh, to, to make sure that we're offering unique opportunities for, for our members in the Street Smart Options group. 
So again, it's 100% free to join us on the Facebook group. Obviously, you can uh, subscribe here on YouTube. And you know, if you, if you should need anything at all, feel free to leave us a comment. You can always look us up and take a look at our program that we offer on our website, streetsmartoptions.com. Thanks for tuning in tonight, and have a fantastic week.